So we are currently in a dilemma. We have two options. It's time to confront Lord Gortash or go towards the dragon. So I guess it just comes down to what do I feel like doing the most. And so I'm thinking because Gortash is a little more split roady, let's try the dragon. And if somehow the dragon ends the game, then we'll come we'll reload cuz I made a save called the crossroads two stones cuz I have two stones currently. I can go get a third one whole bunch of different things so let's go find the dragon yes okay you know what we're gonna do the dragon it's decided hmm is there like a note or something I can read about this it says because it wanted me to read some stuff Baldur's Gate devil the entrance to Worm's prison with lightning and shock a true hero sparks flicker the torch is alight Worm shall awaken glitter Okay, so let's get Gel Sparky Quite ready for you. Somehow that worked. Step by step. Oh my goodness, that's exciting. Okay, we got it to work. I was just like, don't don't be too difficult for me to not be able to figure out, and then I just skip out on this whole quest line. Let's have a look. I've been pretty lucky with finding a lot of the stuff on here, which has been really nice. Okay, let's see what's down here. There's a painting right here with a dragon looking at a boat. Oh, let me read these. The first one. Is that Baldurin with a bronze dragon? Must have been quite an adventure. Baldurin and his winged ally admiring the fruits of their labor. The city itself. Baldurin sails away and leaves the dragon to watch over his city. Do the histories make mention of this? The statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Baldurin. The celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The palisades fall, the earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent. Should my domain oh. drown in torment? Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero? Answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no worm and no savior. Examine the statue of magic at work. Okay. I just have to roll 15. Let's see if I can get it. I'm not going to save the game because it doesn't mean too much to me, but I'm excited. Oh. Whatever magic allows this statue to speak, it lies beyond your grasp. <coughs> Ancient Ansor, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Um, okay. We're gonna be tested now. Alright, I'm a little bit tired. But, I know how to do these trials. But I messed up on one. So I just reloaded, we're just gonna speed run all through them. So I just I just wanna have one quick clip of me showing you these three, these four trials, so I decided to just reload. Because when I was trying to figure it out, it took so long. So I'm a little bit tired, because it took me quite a while, but... We'll quickly do this. So... We come into here. No time to dally. I was I was dispelling these three books, but then I realized oh one second, I need to put my Shadow Hearts curse thing on. Right here book. So we need the remove curse spell. Boom, I realized I could just use it right on the judge. Goodbye. Easy, right? And then um I already read these. I think it's gonna clip from reading all of these to this point. 
and there's no point in reading these three because these are just what could happen, right? I don't think we should hang him. I don't think we should give him freedom. Just a 10 day is fine by me. Give him 10 days in jail, perfectly fine. It ended up being the right one because I was just like, he still did wrong. So it makes sense that this was it. Insert this, boom, there we go. Easy, trial one complete. Let's stand right here and then I'll just, we'll wing it. I'll save game right here. I'll shoot one if that's the wrong one, then my bad. We'll go for this one. See? Simple as that. The next trial is just chest. That's pretty simple. Geld tells you the answer. Prove there is what? Lance board happens to be a game with which I have more than a passing familiarity. Might I offer a suggestion? Here we go. Go ahead, Gil. First, threaten the Black King. Move your rook one square to the right. That leaves Black only two choices. Option one. The Black Bishop can take your rook. This leaves your queen free to move three squares to the right and checkmate Black's king, your knight pinning him down. Well, there you go. There you have it. I don't even know what just happened at all. That was really weird. It worked, though. Now we're going to the final trial, the one I hate the very most, because you just have to sit there and let them beat on you. I mean, you can fight back, but I was just like, I don't, I ain't gonna, I don't care about this. I'll just sit here AFK and then spamming. Do not react to every single thing. <laughs> I guess fighting them makes it a little bit easier, but still. Survive one more attack. That's all you have to do. Oh my goodness, is he like 1 HP? Okay, let's get out of here. That was the final trial. Let's go see what's at the end here. The entrance. With courage, does the hero, with insight, does the, with justice, with worthy. Okay. Everything. He's basically just reciting all those. I don't like listening to that. Oh, is the dragon dead? Hells. The great worm is nothing but bone and memories. Someone killed him? Who ate it? Don't tell me there's another dragon. Or it's a zombie dragon. The dragon spirit floods your mind and memory in a great torrent of power. He is with you. He is within you. He is you. The next words that spill from your mouth are not yours, but the worms. I am Ansel. Heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Bite back the words, they aren't yours. Search your mind and search what possesses it. Ansel wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses. And you feel the astral prism stir. Ansel senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? I'm beginning to ask the same question. <laughs> I mean you no harm, just let me go. I never shy away from a challenge. I thought the trials would lead me to treasure. Um, I mean you no harm, just let me go. A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. Oh. The Emperor stirs in the astral prism, then in you. Is he pulling him out? 
curious and detached. What? Is he winking him out? Wait, are they friends? Me they might be friends. As it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been too long. They are friends. What? Well, I mean, it makes sense. He said he helped with them. He called you Baldorian? Oh, wait. Was he secretly the Baldorian guy? Wait. Yeah, what's going on? We knew each other once. Long ago. We crossed the Kalim together. And sailed the Altengri. We built a city by the sea. Ansa was my friend. This is Baldorian right here? Friend. He turned into a squid man? Yes. They can't just hold that I from you the whole game. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Baldoran? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming a lithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Baldoran fallen? Thrall, I'm no thrall. Answer the question, Mind Flare. You owe it to both of us. Wait, this is tiresome. I passed your trials, Dragon. I deserve a reward. Touching reunion now. Mine let me go? Um, I'll just say Thrall, no Thrall. Stillness. Ansur's consciousness Out hovers my knee. just above yours. Searching. My knee just got... Dear Ansur, enough! I gave you everything, Baldoran. And you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. No. Witness Baldoran. The final tempest has come. I am the he one wants to round two. I am the one who roars. This time you will not. This voice is a little it. quiet, isn't it? Please tell me Squidman's gonna be here to help. Oh my goodness, he's awake. Where the heck is Squidman? Squidman's got to be here. Did he dip? I'm just fighting this thing on my- This is dumb. Oh boy, did I get cheated.
Why would you do that? You're supposed to go in with your sword. Easy. Easy. What is this? Baldoran's giant slayer? I'm so So, this whole time you were that guy, why did you conceal your true identity from me? My That's true a real question. My true identity is the one you've known from the moment we met. I concealed nothing from you. I simply left out the details that were not pertinent to our cause. But it seems you are interested in them. I just need to know if you're going to kill me like you killed your last friend. I killed Anso out of necessity. For the crime of being a lithid, he would have killed me first. It's like I always told you. I was just like Is a crime to be a lithid? An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to found Baldur's Gate. So the founder of Baldur's while, Gates are buddy this whole time? My city grow. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea called to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, Called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. So you killed him? You're definitely sick. <laughs> and sure, Stellanate, your allies always die. Don't feel bad about killing anyone who saved you. Don't you feel bad about killing the one who saved you? Of yeah. Of course I do. More so because it was Ansor. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Sorry I had to go through that. Is being a lithid really worth the loss of a friend? You could have done the honorable thing and let him kill you. I admire your commitment to survival, but your methods are questionable. I there think that's the right answer. No alternatives. In my place, you would have done the same. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. One nether stone remains. So how we old are you, bro? You are ancient. Free. Uh, read. I'd like to look at this sword. Everybody's hurting real bad. Okay, there is this sword right here. And then there is this one. Oh. What does this do? On a hit, double the damage from your strength modifier. This weapon grants you advantage on attack rolls against large, huge, or, or nursery room creatures. Again, got an entourage. 
Okay, on hit, double damage from your strength modifier. This weapon gains the advantage on bigger creatures. Yo, that's pretty good. Baldoran. Worms Tempest and his roar hurtle through you. Ansur's essence still lives within the helm, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. Okay, what does this helmet have on it that's sexy then? Where's the helmet at? Baldurin's variety. The helmet heals you two points at the beginning of every turn. Baldurin's favor, you have plus one to armor class and saving throw and stun ability. You can't be stunned. Attacks can't land critical hits on the wearer. Okay. Let's leave this place. I'm happy we went and did this dragon thing. This is cool. Because now we figured out who the squid man really is. We got his true identity. And that is, he's a snake in the grass. What camp is this? I've never seen this camp before. Oh, this is Rivington's camp. Oh. But I will not stay at your side a moment longer. Kill your friend. The absolute. And should you die in the attempt, it would be a better end than you deserve. Who is your friend? Well, screw you then. I don't like you anyway. Ansur is dead. There will be no great tempest roaring through the skies. No dragon redeemer to save us. What hope then for Baldur's Gate? Without the great worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? You braved the worm's lair, seeking a savior. Yet it was you, all of you, who vanquished the undead abomination which Ansur became. You are more powerful than you understand. It is you who are the Tempest. It is you who are the heart of the gate. You're right. Okay, Mr. Squidman. We are the warriors who'll slay the Absolute. We are the guardians who'll defend this fair city. Next. Here, here, victory will be ours. We will smite the Absolute. It would have been nice to have a dragon at our side, though. Perhaps. <laughs> But we will still smite the brain, and still be hailed as champions. I could even claim my father's own ducal title, and carry his banner after this. Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, Marshal of the Flaming Fist, the city's truest defender. A Grand Duke? You can't refuse the such possibility. Think of the power you'll yield. Um, what makes you think the people will welcome you- welcome a devil as Grand Duke? I fear you lust for power. Get the better of you- what? That doesn't make sense. He doesn't seem that way. Imagine the good you could do as Grand Duke. It always been your destiny. Courage, I'll say that. Insight, strategy, justice. These were the lessons my father taught me. Baldur's Gate is my home. And, and once we I take out Ortash, we can save I your dad. I will be relentless in my pursuit of the greatest good. The Blade of Frontiers is no more. I will be Will Ravenguard, son of Alda, proud Duke of Baldur's Gate. I'm just going to nod silently. Will's courage and enthusiasm warms the air with him at your side. Okay, cool. Anybody else? Anybody else wants to chat? Nobody else wants to chat? All right, I think I'm going to wrap things up for the day. Where the heck is the camp spot to sleep at? How great. Wait, what's happening? Okay, Miss Inkbug, what do you want? Queen Vlakis. Scrum! You are Hishalak, and still you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes, spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us, enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hishalak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains, we snuff out stars, we shake the plains! The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. 
my zipper on the side of my leg is like all is bent the up. Yankee prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlacketh's rule? Looks like we're losing frames on the recording though. Slay Orpheus the Pretender! Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be bought of Vlacketh. I gave you my faith, and you I'll called say that. me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live. And I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word <laughs> is nothing. Well, I've never seen this person do anything I'm other nothing. than yell. The Kithraki will bring you. Oh, don't look at whatever this I is. I don't even know who, who even plays Dota. From your bones and devour your skull's marrow. While you beg for death, I will consume you. Okay, Karen. All right. All we did was walk across the street. The internet Black still was screwing me over. Did Lazel's whole existence? Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held, has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was, and can never be again. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlacketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And does nobody want to talk now? It looks like we're going to wrap things up then. Okay. Well, we did quite a bit today. It looks like tomorrow, when we come back to this, we're going to actually confront Lord Gortash now. We're going to do both. We're both going to give him the stone and also tell him no and kill him. Or to give him the stone first, then do the other thing, and then go to the prison afterward to save yep, his, that guy's dad. And then we'll see where the story takes us from there. For now, I'm going to take my break. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.